Ever wondered how an email travels from your computer to a friend's halfway across the globe? Well, it's not magic, but more like a high-speed relay race. Imagine your email as a baton in this race and the track? That's the internet. The starting point is your computer. When you hit send, the baton is passed on. The race begins. Your message, now transformed into a series of data packets, is ready for the journey. The baton, your email, is now ready to take off. The first leg of the race is the Internet Service Provider, or ISP. This is our first checkpoint, much like a relay station in a race. It's where your email, our relay baton, gets a quick boost of energy before it continues on its way. The ISP's role is crucial. It's like the track's gatekeeper, ensuring that the baton is on the right path and providing the necessary speed for it to reach the next stage. Upon leaving the ISP, our baton then reaches the first email server. This server acts as the first pit stop in our relay race. Here, our baton is meticulously checked to ensure everything is in order. The server sorts, stamps and forwards the email, much like a high-speed post office. These stages are vital in ensuring that our baton is correctly addressed and ready to continue its journey. Having been checked and sorted, the baton is now ready to continue its journey. Now comes an important part of the race, finding the right direction. Imagine our email baton at a crossroad, unsure of where to go next. This is where the domain name system or DNS steps in. The DNS is like our baton's personal GPS, translating the human-friendly email address into a computer-friendly IP address. It's like converting a street name to a precise set of geographical coordinates. Once our baton has its directions, it speeds off towards the second email server. This server is like a vigilant gatekeeper. It checks the baton's ID, making sure it's not an unwanted spam email trying to sneak into the recipient's inbox. It's a crucial pit stop, ensuring only legitimate emails continue the race. Having crossed the toughest part of the race, the baton is now ready for the final sprint. The email, now verified and directed, is just a few steps away from its destination. And with that, the most challenging part of our email relay race is complete. Finally, the end of the race is in sight. Our baton, the email, has navigated through the twists and turns of the internet, overcoming many hurdles. Now it reaches the recipient's computer, the finish line of this relay race. Here the computer accepts the baton, carefully checking it before allowing it into the inbox. It's a process that ensures your email is legitimate and not an unwelcome intruder. And that's how an email travels across the world, much like a baton in a relay race.